Hello, it's Jeanette J Beauty and it's finally wash day. I'm very excited because I recently went to the beach with my family. I did get a little bit of sand and ocean water in my hair. Of course, I had to have fun there, but now I definitely need to take care of my hair. It's been almost two weeks now since I've washed my hair last and I just really need to give it the TLC that it needs. As you know, I always do a treatment before I shampoo my hair, whether it's an apple cider vinegar treatment or pre pooing or another treatment from another brand. But but I need to make sure that I give my hair the TLC that it needs. Even though I don't have the color in my hair, I still need to make sure that I'm very, very diligent about treating my hair. Today, I will be pre pooing my hair, and pre pooing is so important to me because it helps to improve the manageability of your hair. Also, the condition of your hair will definitely improve because it helps to soften your hair and also helps to restore moisture. And it's just overall a very good treatment for me. I find it very necessary, and when I don't pre poo my hair, I can tell the difference in a bad way. As always, I'm gonna section my hair into quadrants. This just helps me to stay nice and organized and focused on making sure that I'm giving all of my hair the TLC that it needs. Working in sections is very, very beneficial when you wanna treat your hair and just make sure that all of your hair gets the moisture and hydration that it needs. I am gonna be mixing Camille Rose Cocoa Nibs and Honey, Ultimate Growth Serum, and their Herbal Tea Seal and Soften from the Leave-In Collection. I'm putting it in this applicator bottle because it'll be easier to apply in my hair. So remember, water is a moisturizer on its own, so that's why when you apply water to your hair, you are giving your hair moisture. You just wanna make sure that you keep that moisture in your hair, so that's where the oils come in. It helps to seal that moisture in, helps to lock it in, and that's what you want to prevent your hair from drying out. I am spraying the water in my hair, and also this back section just was a little bit tangled, I guess from not washing it and just having my hair up in that wrap. So my hair, as I've already mentioned, doesn't really get tangled, but under the circumstances, it did get a little bit tangled back here. So I'm just smoothing it out with my fingers and also the water. I'm not adding anything else. And then I will put the oil mix in my hair just to help lock that moisture in. Also, the oil did help me to detangle my hair a lot better. And once I can run my fingers through my hair, tangle free, and it's smooth, I know that it's time to twist my hair up and continue on the next section. So I'm gonna do this process all over my hair so all of my hair can reap the benefits of a pre pooing treatment. And once I finish twisting the whole section, I am gonna clip it up and continue on the rest of my hair. As you can see, I really love this mister. This mister is definitely a game changer. And it just sprays the right amount of water in my hair. And also, I just seal that moisture in. My hair really thrives off of this treatment. I recommend for anyone to do it. And I use different oils all the time, just depending on what my hair needs. This time, I'm using the whole Camille Rose line. So of course, I was using their Cocoa Nibs and Honey Growth Serum and also this leave-in it has oils in it so that's why I'm just mixing the two together but as you can see my hair is very receptive and my hair is so moisturized And here's a great texture shot. As you can see, my hair is very receptive to all the moisture that I'm giving it. And I often get asked, what is my hair type? And it is a 3C, medium porosity. And here's a great example here. And once I have finished applying all the oils and twisting my hair, I am going to sit under the hair dryer. But before I do, I am going to put a plastic cap over my hair and just let my hair sit under the dryer for 30 minutes. And this is where I get to interact with you, so make sure that you're following me on both my Instagram and you're subscribed here on my YouTube channel. After the pre-pooing process, here's how my hair looks. 
and just to show you it is so soft and very moisturized I'm really happy pre pooing my hair never fails me jumping in the shower to continue wash day I am gonna rinse the oils out of my hair before I do shampoo it Again, I did separate my hair into fours just because this really helps me. I am going to be using the Camille Rose Sweet Ginger Shampoo and this does smell a little bit like ginger. It's really refreshing so I did like the smell of it and also it gave my hair great lather and my hair did not feel dried after using it. When I shampoo my hair, I'm really focusing on the roots of my hair, also my scalp because that's where a lot of the buildup can be and the rest of my hair will get clean as I rinse the shampoo out. And here's another texture shot of how my hair looks without any product free of the oils and I'm just going to continue to shampoo my hair. I just wanted to show you that because my hair is very soft and it's very hydrated after the pre pulling process even though I rinse the oils out. This shampoo felt really good on my scalp and also on my hair, it didn't strip it at all so I did feel confident enough to put the shampoo on the length of my hair and not worry about it drying my hair out because it didn't and I just wanted to make sure that my hair was really clean all of the sand the ocean water all of the products from the wash and go got rinsed out of my hair very well Now it's time to wash the shampoo out of my hair and as I've already mentioned it did not dry my hair out. My hair still felt hydrated after I rinsed the shampoo out. I didn't use a lot of the shampoo which is very good. A little bit went a long way which is what I like. I felt like my hair was nice and clean but not stripped with a little bit of the shampoo. It gave me great lather without my hair feeling irritated or stripped of its moisture. Next, it's time to apply the conditioner. Again, I did put my hair into quadrants and then I separate my hair into half from the quadrant. This just works a lot better for me when applying the conditioner. I'm going to be using the Camille Rose Moroccan Pear Conditioner and this conditioner was pretty good. I did use a good amount of the conditioner for my hair to feel nourished. I did notice when my hair was soaking wet, the conditioner really penetrated into my hair a lot better. I tell you, it's just fun, it's just fun. And I love to comb the conditioner in my hair just because my hair can really absorb all the nutrients from the conditioner. This has really been a game changer for me and my hair really loves it. I can really tell the difference when I comb the conditioner into my hair. And after I feel like my hair is nice and smooth and receptive to the conditioner, I am going to twist it and continue on the rest of my hair.
And already, I could tell that my hair has grown just a little bit since I've cut my hair, and I'm very happy. I know what I'm doing is indeed working. After I've applied all of the conditioner, it is time to rinse it out and I try to rinse it out with cool water. Not very cold because that's when I rinse the deep conditioner out but for the conditioner, I want to make sure that the water is not warm. And after rinsing the conditioner out of my hair, I would say that my hair felt pretty good, nice and soft, and nourished. And after rinsing the conditioner out of my hair, here's how it looks. My hair really did like it. It's nice and soft and hydrated. Now I'm going to deep condition my hair with the Camille Rose Algae Renew. And I really do like this deep conditioner. It's one of my favorites from this whole line. I noticed that this deep conditioner is not only thick, but it's dense. That's the important part for me. I find that deep conditioners that aren't so dense, it may be thick, but it's a little bit watery. It's just not so dense. That's what is really important for me. I really like when my hair is receptive to all the products that I do put in it, especially with the deep conditioner. I don't want to just feel like I'm doing the extra step for nothing. I really like deep conditioners that are dense. I know for different porosity levels, you may not need a thick conditioner or it doesn't have to be dense, but I find that this works so good in my hair. After I've applied the deep conditioner to all four sections of my hair, I did take a shower and here's how my hair looks after about 10 minutes of being in my hair. And now it is time to rinse the deep conditioner out, which it felt so good to rinse my hair out. My hair was nice and soft and smooth. I did use a good amount of the deep conditioner and I could tell that this deep conditioner is going to last me a few more times. Like I said, when deep conditioners are dense, it really works well in my hair. I don't have to use so much, which is key. And after this wash day, my hair feels really good, nice and soft, moisturized, hydrated, conditioned, nourished, all the above. And now I'm just going to put a cotton t-shirt on my hair as I always do just to help my hair dry and then I will be styling my hair. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!